What's up everybody? Top of the mid-morning to you guys. This is your host Oliver Nye here, back on the Big Bass Streams channel. With my man, Grind Mentality, up on the front deck. What's up, what's up guys? We're just starting our day, uh, looking into a new area here. We're gonna do some scanning, uh, look for some uh, life, whether that's shad, hitch, bass themselves, or the ultimate game fish, the black crappie. Uh, it's a beautiful morning out here. We will see how this day unfolds, but excited to be out. We've been on a good little run lately. So we'll see if we can uh, continue to push the envelope. Aim high, dream big. And uh, thankfully today's theme is big baits, thick lines, heavy weights. Stay tuned. Appreciate you guys. Subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. Turn on your notifications because we've got a lot of content coming your way. Hope you guys have been enjoying the uh, multi-species stuff, all the international stuff. But we are home in California doing what we love doing most. Big Bass Dreams, we out. Yeah. 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 found a couple fish in the back of this creek here. Uh, I saw one hitch getting chased. Saw some fish on the live scope. Johnny just uh, got a verified short bite and I saw the fish. We're only in three feet of water. So uh, we'll see how this develops, huh? Huh? Good start, good start. Today, a little guy on the lip is crank, still a chunk. Oh, chunky monkey. Right. 
Alright. Way to start the day. So my first three bites were short bit. So when that happens, what do you do? You put something with treble hooks on. You can't really short bite the lip of the strike bait. Poor guy. He, didn't, he really wanted this. Wow, look at that. Choked it. Another nice little chunk. Okay. <laughs> uh, dude, that dog's sick. They got their own fish cleaning station and everything. A little dock Look cart. So, dock cart inside. The house right here, bro. He's a trainer. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, oh, Oliver. What do you got there? I think I might have the ultimate game fish. Nope. Bycatch. Oh. So you got any friends? I can't leave friend. No friends. No friends. No new friends. Loner. No new, friends. No new new. All right. Spark shed. War bait underspin. Does it again. It's fish number three. It's been a consistent producer for us here. New area, hook point still good. Let's see if we can build on this. All right, all right. Uh, mid morning, mid afternoon update actually. We are on the hunt for hitch. We have been exploring every creek here on the west side of the lake. Um, Graphing the mouths, looking for schools of fish, waiting to move up. Uh, actually checking the creeks themselves for any uh, bait fish populations, whether it's hitch or shad. And some life. Doesn't seem like we're missing much on the main lake, so uh, this is a perfect time to explore. And try to find some uh, untapped populations of fish, hopefully. What do you think about this place, Johnny? All we gotta do is find one thing. The shad or the hitch. Is it, isn't that two things? I said either or. One of the two. So we just gotta find one of them. We find one of them, we're in the money. If we don't find one of them, SOL. We'll, we'll, we'll keep on looking, you know? What do you think about this whole Clear Lake experience though? Look at where we're at. This place is kind of cool, you know? Um, I never fished a real bass lake before. I grew up fishing little city park lakes with not much at all with 50 anglers that you see every day. I never got to fish the Tulis before or, you know, like these backwater creeks. It's kind of crazy. It's like, it's like the stuff I used to see on TV, watching the Bass Masters Classic and, you know, all that stuff with Bill Dance and Roland Martin, you know, way back in these, these creeks where, you know, you never even know where you're at, <laughs> actually. You know, who knows how long, how, how far this creek goes back and it's just cool, you, you know, fishing spots that you've seen people frog fish and top water as a childhood and, you know, it's just something different, you know, something out of the norm. Something amazing, you know. Um, 
It's just different, you know. Especially with SoCal being a city boy, we don't get to see stuff like this. Pretty sure a lot of you guys in the Midwest and the East and South, you get to see stuff like this. But we have nothing, uh, no body of water that has creeks actually. Yeah. <laughs> all, our, all, our, all our lakes are man made, sand canyons. Ponds. Yeah. Um, you know, we don't have this type of structure. Cover. Um, cover. I've never gotten a bite where you, know, you catch back to back five pound bass and there's five people in the same spot casting and everybody's catching fish. Catching a couple swim bait fish in a day is an amazing day to us. Usually we go out and we fish a 12, 14 hour day to get two bites. Word. That's pretty much the deal, you know? We don't get five, 10, 20 bites, let alone 20 fish in a day in any of our fisheries back in Southern California. Typically. Right? Typically. You know, everybody always tells us well, you're spoiled, you have giant bass in uh, Southern California. You know, it's easy. Uh, it's really not that easy. Some days, I, I had streaks where I went eight days for two bites and one fish, and it was worth it. Because that's, that's the name of the game, throwing these big baits, hunting these big fish. You know, being able to just come out and sticking five, six, seven pound bass like it's just another day, you know, all the locals here are like, oh yeah, oh, it's just another seven pounder. I'm like, what do you mean? Us catching a seven, eight pounder, one in a day, one in a week is, it's, it's quite an event for us. So we, we literally need to work for, work for our fish back in the SoCal. And our fishery is different. It's not like what it used to be. You know, back then our lakes were stuffed with trout. You stock a lot of trout. Our fish were really, really fat, big, you know, trout fed city park bass. Um, and fishing do used to be, it was a lot better in the past. Now it's quite not the same as slim pickings. You see the big names, the, the big dogs that used to stuff all these big bass daily. They've been really quiet lately. But you come to a place like this at Clear Lake where trout's not even a factor. Their main forage is this giant and hitch that and, and they're stuffed in here these bass are just gorging and feeding year round i've never seen bass these size i've never seen bass this square yeah. like these bass we're catching here five pound frame seven eight pound bass it's, it's quite insane just seeing that quality of fish and you know the people out here i'm not sure they realize how how blessed they are to have a fishery like this you know what do you think oliver damn i thought you just got deep enough to drop a spoon in this three foot creek right now you man. know that was cool yeah absolutely no look how clear the water is in here it is, it's, uh, pretty thick in here. but there's no hitch so we got to keep uh, going keep on moving keep on looking you know process of elimination hope you guys are enjoying the story and the adventure we're out here trying to figure it out different every day